Hey Immerse Church, Mark and Nina here, very excited to tell you about our uh, Israel tour coming up next year in uh, February 20th to March the 3rd. 10 days, 10 nights. Uh, when Nina and I went, we just went for five days and five nights and uh, we loved it, but we felt we should have been there longer. So we're gonna do a longer tour. Today, I just wanna tell you some of the highlights of the 10 days. So it gives you a bit of a picture of what it is that you're gonna be saying yes to. So on day one, we've been given our itinerary, so I'm gonna read off that a little bit. But on uh, day one, we're gonna actually start with a welcome dinner in the port of Jaffa. Jaffa is where Peter got his vision. It's where Tabitha was uh, uh, raised from the dead and where Jonah went uh, to his uh, tour on the boat. On day two, we're going to Caesarea Maritime, which is a Roman capital of Judea. You're going to see some great sites, excavations there. It's quite a large space and it's quite interesting to walk through those excavations. Also from there, we're going to Mount Carmel. And this is where the prophet Elijah confronted the prophets of Baal. So that's going to be quite interesting. Followed with food, dinner, a nice dinner at the Sea of Galilee. On day three, we're actually going to spend the whole time on the Sea of Galilee. It's beautiful. It's amazing. You'll be able to see where Jesus walked on water. You'll be able to see where Jesus calmed the storm. You'll be able to see where Jesus went over to the other side, to the uh, Gadarenes. It's so amazing. We're going to have lunch there and uh, we'll have worship there. Then we're going to go to the Mount of Beatitudes where Jesus did his great sermon and finish once again on the Sea of Galilee. On day four, this was, I, I love this one, we're going to the Nazareth village. And this is the village that they've restored to its original form of Jesus' days. This would have been the village where Jesus grew up, he played. This is the village where he taught a lot of his parables from. So we're going to listen to some of those parables and also experience the actual yeah. place of uh, the Nazareth village. From there, we're going to Mount Prispus. And uh, from there, we're going to go. That's an actual valley that is where the battle of the Armageddon is going to take place. So that is uh, massive, bigger than what I ever expected it yeah. to be and quite impressive. On day five, we're going to go to where Jesus was baptised. Uh, I was moved many times when I was in Israel, but probably most there where you go to the one place where Jesus was baptised. It's also where the Israelites uh, crossed over the River Jordan into the Promised Land and they set up the, 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 the Stones of Remembrance and where Jesus went into the wilderness. It's powerful, it's fantastic. And then we're going to go to the Dead Sea. We're going to go into the Dead Sea and uh, ladies, the best face you ever get is in the Dead Sea. So if you've got blemishes, you got eczema, whatever it is, it's going to be great minerals to <laughs> cleanse those things away. Uh, we're going to then go on a Jeep tour. This, mm. this is going to be really good. Yeah. Uh, it's actually in the wilderness, through the wilderness, where Jesus spent 40 days. Then we're going to have a dinner, a candlelight dinner, right on the, on the top there. And uh, that's what, we're actually going to sit under the very stars where God spoke to Abram yeah. and gave him his promises. It's just incredible atmosphere as we do that. The next day, we're going to go to uh, Jerusalem. We're going to be around the Temple Mount, you know, the gold dome that you see in most of the pictures. We're going to go all through the city of David. We're going to go to Pilate's house, which they've only just recently discovered, and see where Jesus was actually tried. And uh, it's very, very moving and, and wonderful. And then we're also going to go through uh, the Jewish quarter and just see all the different things. It's, it's an experience. Then on day eight, we're going to visit some museums. And one of them is the Israel Museum, where the Dead Sea Scrolls are kept. And there's also a live model of Jerusalem, which is quite impressive to see its intricacy and how it was in the day. Then we're going to the Holocaust Remembrance mm. um, Museum, and that is going to be interesting in itself. Then from there, we're going to go to the very room of the Last Supper where that was held. So that will be quite moving. From there, we're going to visit the Western Wall. Uh, this is going to be really interesting because it's actually going to be, an, we're going to visit on Shabbat, which is actually the Sabbath. So it will be very crowded, but we'll really get a good feel of what they do on the Sabbath at the Western Wall. On day nine, we're really going to look at uh, Jerusalem. We're going to go to the Mount of Olives. That's where Jesus is going to return. 
Uh, it's amazing we're gonna spend time in the Garden of Gethsemane, actually spending time praying. That's where Nina really got a touch and some of our more moving pictures from our time in Israel happened uh, at the Garden of Gethsemane. We're gonna go to the Garden Tomb from where Jesus was resurrected and we're gonna just have an experience of Jerusalem that will very much change you. And day 10, we're going to the Elah Valley. I'm looking forward to this because I didn't go to this place and it's actually where David fought Goliath. So that'll be just interesting to see and remember how it all happened in the visual place that it's gonna be. There's so much more. We've just talked to you about some of the highlights. Uh, it's for all your dinners, all your breakfast, all your accommodation, 3,200, that's twin person, uh, twin share per person. So uh, you gotta look after your own flights because everyone's gonna be doing different things. But 3,200 is the land package part of that. We need you to go to emergechurch.life. Think about it, pray about it, talk about it. We'd love you to host you, take you through the Holy Land. I think every Christian should do it at some stage. Love you to do it with us. February 20th to March the 3rd next year. God bless you. Please get your name in before August 25th. It just helps us organize stuff. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you.